What is going on guys, your Shredder brother from another mother and I'm gonna get right into five forgotten shoulder exercises for wider, broader shoulders. Now, one of the biggest problems in most guys' physiques is their shoulders are not wide enough and increasing the width of your shoulders is so important because when you're just rocking a t-shirt, you're in normal clothes, you're gonna look a lot more powerful, a lot more muscular just by having broader shoulders. And then when you have your shirt off, Having broad shoulders is gonna give your body the illusion that you have a smaller waist. So you absolutely have got to have broad shoulders to have a really aesthetic looking physique. Now, the best way to have broader looking shoulders is obviously increasing the lateral deltoid head, which is gonna be that middle deltoid head. We have the anterior, which is the front facing one, the lateral, which is the middle, and the rear deltoid, which you're gonna see mostly from the side or facing the back. So I encourage you to spend five minutes going through these five shoulder exercises. They're very unique. Make sure you have your form down. Most importantly, take action on these. Try them out at your gym, and I promise you will fall in love with a few of these. And then make sure you stick around until the very end of the video so I can share my complete shoulder workout with a huge emphasis on broadening your shoulders. So before we get right into the gains, give this video a big like so more people can find this channel and this video. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell next to subscribe so you do not miss out on my three videos per week and let's get the party started. Exercise number one is incredible. Probably my favorite new shoulder exercise because I just started adding it into my routine recently and it is shrug shapers. Now, it's really two movements, so watch the video carefully. At the very start of the movement, you're gonna shrug up, but as you shrug up, you're gonna flare your deltoids out. So you're gonna feel a strong contraction right in your anterior and lateral deltoids just on that initial shrug movement. Your hands are gonna be facing your body, so hands relaxing at your body. First movement, you're shrugging up. Now, you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna flare it out to really emphasize and activate those lateral deltoids. So you're shrugging, you're flaring up to around the height of uh, like your traps or the bottom of your ears, you're going back down, you're starting over again. This is an exercise that I would say, you wanna pick a weight around what you would normally do on like a dumbbell lat raise of what you could do for 10 to 12 reps. It's an exercise where you are gonna feel incredible activation right in your lateral deltoid. And I recommend you actually start your shoulder workout with this movement. It's a great way to uh, you know, really warm up the rotator cuff as well as increase activation in that lateral deltoid head. Exercise number two is overhead plate raise drop sets using what I call jet reps. And I want you to go 30 seconds time under tension. So um, I picked a 45 pound weight plate to start. And basically what I mean by jet reps is you're keeping that muscle under tension, but instead of going slow and controlled on the way down, you're gonna go at a faster pace for the eccentric and concentric motion. So T30 set, 30 seconds time under tension. Um, depending on your strength, you want to start off on the first portion of the drop set with either a 25, a 35, or a 45 pound weight plate. So I'm repping off the 45, and then you want to drop the weight by about 15 to 20% and pump out another 30 seconds time under tension with jet reps. So in the video, um, I went 45 pounds down to 35 pounds. Your hands are gonna be at a parallel grip as they're holding the plates, and just an incredible exercise to really fire up those slow twitch muscle fibers in the deltoids and go 30 seconds time under tension. Exercise number three is a very unique one. I'm not sure the actual name of this, but I'm calling it side to side delt raise. So you're gonna start off holding a dumbbell, hands at a super close position. You're gonna start off on your right side. Now, you're bringing that dumbbell from the ground, so you're gonna be in a kneeling position. You're bringing it from the ground, and as you do that, you're gonna really feel it in your lateral deltoid on the left side when you're going from left to right. You're bringing it overhead, you're pressing it overhead, you're bringing it back down, stretching that right lateral deltoid. Now you're bringing it back up, activating that right lateral deltoid, 
pumping back up and you're going nice and slow and controlled in unison, focusing on squeezing and activating those lateral deltoids. This is just a very unique movement and I find that the more unique movements I do throughout my shoulder workouts, the more sore I am the next day, the more excited I am to go in the gym and smash deltoids. So this one is a very unique movement. Once again, watch the video closely. Do not go too heavy on this exercise the first few times that you try it and really focus on pulling, getting a nice stretch and then activating your deltoid as you bring that dumbbell up, going nice and slow, squeezing at the top, bring it back down to the bottom of uh, the left side. So on this one, you wanna go for a total of 10 repetitions on each side. Fourth forgotten shoulder exercise is one of the hardest shoulder exercises I've ever done in my entire life. Although you are hitting a lot of anterior deltoids in this movement, you still are hitting lateral deltoids. And I wanted to share with you guys because this exercise will really bring out weaknesses in your shoulders. And if you feel really weak on this exercise, it's all the more reason to double down and do this one even more. So you're starting off the movement with uh, the dumbbell front raise, both at the same time. Now you wanna go very light on this because it's a very unique movement as you transition into uh, the second portion. So you're bringing them right up to about the height of your face, right at eye level, and then you're swinging them back a little bit and going right into a front raise. And then this is what really annihilates the anterior and lateral deltoids. You wanna straighten your arms slowly as you bring them back down to the starting position. So you're not doing this and you're not bending your elbow and just dropping the weights. You're pressing overhead and then you're going nice and slow on the way down really firing up those anterior and those lateral deltoids. So I think I was only doing like 15 or 17.5 pounds in the video. It's an exercise you wanna go really light on, feel the activation and go for 12 to 15 reps. Exercise five is a brutal superset for the lateral and anterior deltoids. Uh, the first portion of the superset, we're doing dumbbell alternate overhead press with a parallel grip. This was rated by science activation studies as one of the top deltoid builders in both the anterior and the lateral head. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go a T30 set, focusing on time under tension, alternating very similar to the overhead plate jet reps. So I want you to go at a faster pace, choose lighter weight, do not rest the deltoid muscle at all and go a full 30 seconds time under tension. Now, the second portion of the superset, your, your shoulders are gonna be very fatigued. What I want you to do is grab a pair of dumbbells. It's probably gonna be a little bit lighter than the dumbbells you picked on the dumbbell alternate overhead press. Your hands are gonna be facing each other, hanging in front of your body, and you're gonna do those nice dumbbell deltoid shapers flaring out right at your sides. One of my favorite exercises for broadening the shoulders of course, once again, you're not solely hitting lateral deltoid. You really can't just hit your lateral deltoid. You will hit your anterior deltoid as well. But this one is a fantastic exercise to broaden your shoulders. In fact, I had a lot of success with increasing the width of my shoulders when I pretty much just did this in regular barbell overhead press. In fact, my old shoulder routine, I would pretty much do like dumbbell shoulder press or barbell overhead shoulder press. And I would end the workout with a lot of dumbbell shoulder shapers. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big like right now, but don't leave yet because as promised, this is the complete balloon method deltoid workout. So if you want to get the most bang for your buck, you want to include some mass builders and you don't want to do solely all the exercises from this video. So I would recommend going two sets at the start of your shoulder workout of barbell overhead press, focusing on progressive eccentric. That means going heavy in the six, to 10 repetition range for two sets. Then we're gonna add an intensity factor. I want you to go two sets of dumbbell shoulder press, 
Mere rep drop sets. That means eight to 10 reps, as heavy as you can go. You're gonna drop the weight 30%. You're gonna do another eight to 10 reps with a focus on going down nice and slow and controlled on the eccentric portion. Then you're gonna end the workout with your two favorite shoulder exercises from this video that are really gonna focus on broadening those shoulders. I want you to do two sets each of your two favorite exercises from this video. And the reason that I really like showing five unique exercises for all these different muscle groups, and if you search my channel, I pretty much come up with a video topic, five forgotten exercises for almost every single muscle group by now. The reason is everybody's body is structured a little bit differently. Everyone's gonna find that they have better activation on one exercise versus another. So I really like sharing unique exercises with you guys. For today's giveaway, I'm giving a seven serving sample tub of superhuman pre-workout in kiwi blueberry flavor. So all you have to do to enter today's giveaway is of course, like this video, um, hit subscribe and tap that notification bell next to you subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite movie of all time is. So um, I'm huge into movies and video production, so really curious what some of your favorite movies of all time is. And I'm gonna pick one person to win a seven serving sample tub of Krieger Kiwi Berry in Superhuman Pre-Workout. So thank you guys so much for watching. The very next video you're gonna see me in, I will be in Las Vegas. So make sure you subscribe if you're new here, tap that notification bell, and I will see you guys in Vegas in the next video.